Hi, I'm Brandi Suchovich. I'm an elementary school music teacher, and today I'm going to show you some clarinet basics. For this segment, you will need a clarinet, a little glass of water, and a reed. First, you always want to put your clarinet together. It has five different pieces, one, two, three, four, and five. You twist the pieces together, lastly the mouthpiece. Next, you want to put on your reed. There are a lot of different kinds of reeds you can get, different brands, different strengths. Uh, Rico is a great brand for beginners because the price is very low and it's very easy to make a sound on them because the thinness of the reed is very, very thin. The thinner the reed, it, the easier it is to make a sound whenever you're starting with blowing. Um, if you want a better brand for a little more money, you could go with brands such as Van Doren or Mitchell Lorry. This reed here is a Van Doren, and you can always see on the back what the brand is. And as well as the brand, on the back there's usually a number or a strength, such as 1, 2, 3, or soft, medium, soft, medium, hard, or hard. The lower the number or the lower the explanation, such as soft, then the easier it is to make a sound. The higher the number, then the harder it is to make a sound, but once your embouchure gets strong enough, it's a much richer sound. Um, the reed needs to be wet before it can vibrate. You can wet it either by putting it in your mouth for several seconds, and you always want to use the thin side, not the thick side. Or if you want your reed to last longer, you can set it in a little glass of water. The reason this lasts longer is because if you use your saliva, the saliva breaks down the fibers in the reed over time. If you use water, then that doesn't happen. Any reed that you should use should only last about a week or so. After that, um, it starts to get a little germy and it also becomes a lot softer even if it started out as a hard reed. So after a week or so, you want to throw your reeds away and get a new one. Also, if your reed chips on the top or starts to break, then that's an, also another sign that you need a new reed. If you have a good reed and it's wet and ready to go, then you place it on the top of your mouthpiece and the tip of the reed lines up with the tip of the mouthpiece. If you need the reed to be softer, you move it down a little bit, or harder, you move it up a little bit. And then you put on your ligature. There are also different types of ligatures. Um, they give you a little bit different sound, but they all generally do the same job. You tighten your ligature nice and tight to hold the, mouth, the reed in place, and then you're ready to play.